here you can see the green rosettes of poison hemlock. This very large rosette here is likely a second year plant. These are the plants that will get bigger as spring goes on and will end up putting up a shooting up a flowering stem that will flower, produce seed, and then die. These are the really important ones to control this year. As you can see, an individual leaf can be quite large and they will get larger. They look a lot like a fern or a parsley leaf. And you'll notice that I'm only handling this wearing gloves because even though poison hemlock is mostly just toxic if ingested, it's a good idea to avoid contact with any of the chemicals that can cause those effects. If you do pull back some of the leaves, you can see here at the base of the leaf that there's some purple splotches and coloration. That won't always be present, but if you do find that, you can be certain that this is a poison hemlock rosette and not something else. For the most part, this time of year, other similar looking plants like Queen Anne's Lace are not green and growing quite yet. Uh, Queen Anne's Lace in particular will also usually have hairs uh, present on the leaves and the, the leaf stems. Now at this stage, these poison hemlock rosettes can be controlled using foliar herbicide on a warm day where it is above 50 degrees. They can also be removed manually. So. Wearing gloves and long sleeves, find the base of the plant. Taking a sharp shovel or spade, all you have to do is sever the plant a couple inches below the surface of the soil. Or just pull the whole thing up by hand. So that is what a poison hemlock root looks like. Just to make sure that it dies completely, I like to hang these up in a tree somewhere. to make sure that it dries out and dies, but you can also throw it in a trash bag, a burn pile, any of those will also work. Just make sure that if you do this later in the year, that any flowers or seed heads are cut and bagged. You wanna make sure that you don't spread the seed somewhere else. Any equipment that you use that could have dirt on it or your boots, make sure to brush those off so you're not spreading seeds somewhere else.